Hello everybody! So finally you guys are getting to see me and not just my hands. But I'm doing this video first of all to thank you guys for all the support. Now we are more than 2,200 subscribers and the channel has reached more than 225,000 views so far. That's incredible. For me, knowing that people all around the world appreciate my art, it's really priceless. And a way to say thank you is doing a video that you guys have been asking me for a while. In this Mullet Skin video that you guys will watch, I shot the entire process, from the sketching to the inking, and I also added some commentaries that I think that will be very helpful for you. So without further ado, let's do it. So I usually start by drawing some lines that will help me find the focal points in my page. In some of my doodles I draw the objects randomly, but in this case it's important to plan where each element will be in the page. If you have watched my last video you saw some tips how to get inspired, and that's how I got the idea to do this doodle. After watching the new Noah's movie, I decided to represent this incredible story using my style. What motivated me the most to draw the Noah's Ark was the chance to draw many different animals, and I really enjoy drawing characters. In this drawing, since the beginning, I wanted to represent the moment that the dove returned to the Ark with the olive leaf. So I had this idea to represent the moment that probably was pretty expected by Noah and all the others. So with the idea in mind, I start with the sketch part. I know that there are a lot of special pencils for drawing, but in this video I'm using just a normal 0.7 mechanical pencil. I am also using a Nirubu eraser to clear the extra lines. The best thing of using a Nirubu eraser is that it doesn't damage the paper and it does a pretty good job cleaning the graphite. Another advantage is that you can model it in any shape you want, so it's very useful especially if you want to clear small areas. It's important to mention that these drawings that I do on my Moleskin are just a hobby, so I don't care a lot about the lines in the paper, or as you can see, sometimes I mess it up a little bit when I draw between the gutter. When I'm doing a commission work, I pay more attention to details. As you can see, my creation process has a lot of experimentations. Sometimes I have an initial idea for a character, but when I draw it, I feel that it doesn't work. And for me, that's the best part of doodling. You are always forcing yourself to try to find the best composition, which is an excellent exercise for creativity. A characteristic that became very present in my drawing is filling every space in the page with something. And that's what makes this doodle style so interesting. I like the idea that you have to follow your eyes across the page to see every little detail. This spread that I'm doing now is not so complex, but I have some previous drawings that each time that you see it, you will find different elements in the page, and I love this profusion characteristic in art. Okay, so now I started the inking process, which is the part that I usually shoot my videos. A lot of people ask me why I don't film the sketching part, and the answer is time. It takes me a lot of time to sketch everything, so I usually draw when I have a free time here or there. And the problem is that for shooting this video I have to assemble the camera equipment, the lighting, etc. So I don't always have time to shoot the whole process. Another pretty common question is what pen do I use to draw? I usually put this information in the video description, but I know that a lot of people don't read it. So, I usually use the Unipin Fine Liners. This pen is produced by the Japanese company Mitsubishi. First, I start with the size 0.3, which is great to make the base of the drawing and to trace small details.
and after that I come with a size 0.8 only on the object's contour. Doing this is good to give a better contrast for the whole image. So here is the final illustration. So that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and if you like it please don't forget to hit the like button and share the video so this way more people can be inspired. I also want to point out that English is my second language so I apologize for any mistakes. So see you guys later and keep drawing!